Hello everyone, my name is Nikhil Goel and I'm a final year dual degree student in the computer science department at IIT Delhi. Today I'm going to talk about a recent work on generative model for graphs called GraphGen, which was published in the web conference 2020. This is a joint work with Harshwadhan Jan and Sayan Ranu. The foremost question here is why do we need to study graphs? Graphs can represent many complex systems such as social networks, protein interaction networks, road networks and many more real world objects. Before moving forward, let's do a quick primer on what are generative models. Informally, generative models can generate new data instances by learning from the input examples. They do this by modeling the data distribution itself in an unsupervised setting. For example, a generative model could generate new photos of cat that look like the real cats. So why are we interested in modeling and generating graphs? This task has fundamental applications in many domains. These include learning social network patterns, finding fraudulent activity in banking transaction networks, and even drug discovery where you may want to find new chemical molecules similar to the drugs already present on the market. As you know, the adjacency matrix is a simple way to represent a graph, but multiple adjacency matrices can represent a graph based on the ordering of nodes chosen. Also graph structures are complex, so any proposed model should address these two fundamental problems. The flowchart provides a complete overview of the problem formulation. Our goal is to learn a model using the input graphs, which is capable of generating graphs that look like the input graphs. Our proposed technique GraphGen does this task for any arbitrary kind of graphs with node and edge labels. Instead of using adjacency matrices, we convert graphs into unique sequences called DFS codes. DFS code encodes a graph into a unique edge sequence by performing a depth first search. Each edge u, v is represented as a 5 tuple that has information about the timestamps from the DFS traversal and the labels of nodes u and v and the edge label. Here figure A shows the graph and figure B shows the DFS traversal that gives the corresponding DFS code. We choose DFS code because they are domain agnostic and incorporate labels. Also, DFS codes provide a way to define one-to-one -one mapping, hence the model needs to handle only one data representation for each graph. We use well-known deep learning model LSTM to train a generative model for DFS codes. And finally, turn the generated sequences back to graphs. Basically, we are learning a language model for the DFS code sequences. Now, coming on to the experiments part, evaluating the model's quality is complicated as there is no standard metric to compare graphs. We do this by calculating a graph property like degree distribution for every graph and then use the distance between the graph property for generated and the test graphs to measure the graph similarity. As graphs are complex structures, we use various diverse graph properties to evaluate our proposed technique. Compared to the contemporary approaches GraphRNN and DeepGMG, GraphGen is on average 40 times better in quality based on the metrics we tested on. This figure shows the original and the generated graphs for chemical compounds for GraphGen and the baseline techniques. As you can see, GraphGen looks the most similar to the input chemical molecules. Similar results can be seen for the citation networks. To conclude, existing techniques use one-to-many graph representations which cause hindrance in training, whereas GraphGen uses one-to-one -one mapped sequences which improve quality and helps it scale to million-sized graph databases. GraphGen does not solve all the problems related to graph modeling. All the existing techniques including GraphGen cannot scale to graphs containing millions of nodes. Also, several graphs today are annotated with feature vectors like knowledge graphs. We should ask, can we extend label modeling to feature vectors? You can reach out to us for any questions or comments. If you want to work on new and exciting problems like this, join the computer science department at IIT Delhi.